What's up, Android fans? Tech and Me is back with another app roundup. And this time we have a lot of apps to review, so let's get to it! Okay, let's start with PowerStrip. PowerStrip is basically a launcher slash multitasking app. So let me show you what that is. So here we are. Let's go to my browser. And we're in the browser, we're searching, we're going through YouTube, and then I want to go to some other app. I just press the home button, and boom, look what popped up. My recently opened apps. I have Skype, I have uh, Mail, and then I have ADW and Cache, and all that stuff. So these are my apps. If I want to go to another one, I can just go, boom, and right there, back to my apps. Press home button again, and boom. And let's skip to home screen, ADW, see? So much easier, so smooth. So if you're on the home screen and you press home, nothing happens. But if you double tap home on the home screen, again, boom, we, tap, uh, we get to power strip. Now power strip has these recent thing, which we are in right now. And then we also have apps, that is all our apps, quick access to all our apps, and we have a shortcut button where we can assign contacts, we can assign whatever you want. Like, uh, you want to navigate to home, you can just have it right here, shortcuts. So, that's that. And then you can also add your own folder or whatever you want. So it's a pretty nice little, very useful app. That's a nice little multitasking app. Next up, we have Comic Strip. Like Power Strip? Nope, not at all like Power Strip. Comic Strips is basically, you can read your favorite comics, online on the go so these are the comics I have set you can always add new comics my comics all comics if you go to all comics as you can see there's so many little comics you can add whatever you want so whatever comic you like suppose I had Calvin and Hobbes there I have September 4 every day there's a new strip of comics released so I haven't read these these three sec second third and fourth so you can just go here and let it load up and there we are comic strip we can just read up and then we want to go to the next one we can go to the next one we want to go to, pre go to previous we can always go to previous and all that stuff it obviously rotates with this stuff and that was power st comic strips next up we have opera mini browser this is basically a web browser but it's nice and fast let me show you what the cool stuff is here you can add your own sites, whatever sites you want. You can click on add and you can just add your own site, like I can ask, add YouTube right there. So that's uh, that's the home screen. So you have like about nine, stri nine stuff to go to, nine sites you can go to. And then, suppose I, let's go, let's go to Facebook and let's go to Amazon.com, okay? Let's add. See, this is the tabs bar. You just click add. I click Amazon. Okay, so now we're in Amazon too. Now I can just swipe through easily. I can add more. Boom, we're in the Opera mini browser or the store, Opera store. Why does Opera have even a store? Okay, whatever. So we have three, three little apps open right there. So it's very useful. And then we also have this, bookmarks, history. All you have to press is the big O, Opera. We have the history. You can go into history. Uh, let's go. Uh, what, what else do we have? Bookmarks. We have start page. That is basically this thing. Start page. You can set your own. You just have to hold down and boom. You can clear that and then you can add your own. See? So that's your start page and then you have your saved pages which you can read offline. Then you have your recent downloads and you have your settings. Okay. That's it. That's Opera browser. You can always go back and forward and you can refresh the page. So that's Opera. You can search Google right over there. You don't want to search Google. You can always type in your website. So nice little web browser. Really useful. Next up we have Lightbox. Lightbox Photos is basically a photo sharing app from Facebook, Twitter and all that stuff. It integrates all your photos into one little app. And you can always comment on these photos. You can download these photos. You can add, upload more photos and all that stuff. So here we have popular photos from Facebook and Twitter and Flickr I guess and then we have this is from my Twitter account 
uh, not the ones I uploaded, but what my friends have uploaded. And then, oh, obviously, you can always follow me on Twitter at me and tech. Yeah, that's it. And then we have the news. We can just click on whatever we want, and we can read up. It's from the New York Times. And then we can always refresh. And if you want to upload a photo, you just press camera button, or you can pick from the gallery. You upload a photo. Let's take a picture of the carpet. And boom. Press OK. Where do you want this? Uh, where was this photo taken? Do you want to geotag it? No, we don't really want to geotag it. We can always add the description of the photo. And we can post it to. It's going to post it to my lightbox.com wall, which is basically Twitter too. It's, in, it's integrated with Twitter. Let's go back to this, and as you can see, you can take a photo, upload it from Lightbox.com to Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr. So that's Lightbox. It's basically like Instagram for iPhone, if you know what that is. Next up, next up we have tap -a talk or tape -a talk Basically, if somebody is giving a lecture, like your, your teacher or something, and you like the lecture, you want to hear it again, you can just press the rec re record button. But the best part about this is it's still recording while the power is switched off. So I can put it to sleep and it's still recording. I switch it back on. Unlock it. Oh, by the way, that was my MIUI lock screen. I'm using MIUI ROM. So that's locked. And as you can see right over there, the icon that shows that it's still recording, I press pause. Or I can just stop recording. Once I've stopped recording, I can always go back. See, well, I'm still talking. Off, so, so yeah, still that was tap tape talk. Next up, we have kids doodle. Oh, it's not really kids, but then this is really fun. I like drawing apps. You guys all all obviously know that. But then, drawing apps are fun in this. Like you can just it randomly picks a background for you, and then you can choose your own. Suppose like watch that. See. I have, what is this, uh, fluorescent colors. Every time I lift my finger, it changes colors. Light purple, orange. Is that too bright for you guys? So, and then we can change it again. Let's change the color, and this time we have multicolor thing. If you press on the pencil again, it changes. Watch, press the pencil. See, now you have the crayon look. Or whatever. Okay, watch, watch this. If I write tech and me, right? Now we can just click play and boom, what do we have there? That's the best part, it always plays. So you can speed it up. Wait, can you? Yeah, times two right over there. Times two. So I can speed it up to times three and then press play and boom, really fast. I can slow it down, press play. There you go, Tech and Me, bringing you the best apps. So that's, what was this? Kids Doodle. Fun little app, and you can always record these. Good. Next up, we have Doc for Droid. Now, Doc for Droid is really interesting. It's another multitasking app. I've reviewed it before, but I, since I really like it, I'm reviewing it again. So the guys, the new subscribers, can always get this. Let's press back. So we already have a multitasking app running, which is PowerStrip. There you have it, PowerStrip double tap home and you have power strip right there. so doc for droid doc for droid you see the reddish hue right over here that's doc for droid I just press that and boom we have all my recent apps in the nice little like basically like MacBook or Apple whatever like OS 10 and I can just go to whichever recent apps I want if I want to go to back to Opera mini browser boom and I'm in Opera now I can press that again and I can go back to ADW and I can even go to my ultimate face pro that is my nice little all the apps that I was reviewing so really useful app doc for droid it has settings obviously and if you don't want any app you go here you don't want any of your recent apps you can always hide me and you can hide doc for droid has always always has a right over there doc for droid it runs in the background so it, ha it has right there you can always click that and boom it's gone see the reddish hue is gone 
you can go back, click that again, and it's back up. So suppose you're typing something or you're drawing something and you don't want to accidentally click that. So you can always go there, uncheck that, and it'll be hidden. So that's Doc for Droid. Another multitasking app. I like Doc, Doc for Droid more than uh, Power Strip, but it's up to you guys. Power Strip gives you more options, obviously. Like app, you can go to your entire app drawer. So that's a good little thing of Power Strip. Okay. Uh, next up. Next up, we have Minus. Now, you, most of you guys probably don't know what Minus is. But it's, you guys know what Dropbox is. It's a file sharing app, or basically not really file sharing, or you can even have it as storage. You have 10 GB in minus. In, uh, in uh, what, it was, what was that? Dropbox, you just have 2 GB, I think, or 4. In this one, you have minus, you have 10 GB of online, that is cloud storage, and you can upload whatever you want. So here we have minus app for the Android. Make your own. It takes, your, it takes like 2 seconds to make your own uh, account. All you have to do, don't even have to enter your email address. You just have to type in your username. So I typed in tech and me and then pa password. Just type in whatever password you want and then boom. Now if I want to upload, I just click right there and I can upload. I can upload from sound recordings. I can upload from my documents and I can upload from my gallery. So right there, right? So I can upload whatever I want. I can take a picture and upload it from my camera or my Lightbox account too, actually. And that's about it. And the best part, I have a link down below, below in the video description. Click on that and you'll get one extra GB free. That's one entire GB. So instead of 10 free GB, if you click that, you're going to get 11 GB of free online storage. So that's awesome. Minus. Better than Dropbox, definitely. So that's minus for Android. And it has an Android app. And obviously, uh, you can use it on your PC too. That's minus. Definite download. Check it out. Next up, we have stupid little uh, live wallpaper. I don't really. Uh, let's review it. Okay. That's 11 apps today. That's a lot of apps. So here we have live wallpaper. So this is the live wallpaper. As you can see, the water is just flowing. You can tilt it and the water falls over here. You can tilt it. The water changes colors too. It's greenish right now. Now it's kind of yellowish. Now reddish. So yeah lots of stuff you can always set it as your live wallpaper but I don't want to and what else can you do you can go to the settings of this and you have it full screen you have broken multi-touch uh, they haven't really experimented much with multi-touch and then we have type of stuff that's falling we can have liquid we can have acid we can have all this other stuff let's click on acid okay as you can see in the background change we even have blood Ooh, vampires you can have eternal water. Oh, this is nice. I like eternal water. It's just... Uh, kind of nice. Not that great, as you can see. Yeah, so that's... That's hyperspace... What is that? Hyperspace Jelly Light. And this is just the light version. Just Im imagine what the full version has. So that's uh, the live wallpaper. And then last app which is the 11th app I think I think so last app is Friendcaster Friendcaster is basically a Facebook app see it pop whenever I open it it pops up uh, new notifications so that's good I can go into my notifications I can click X if I don't want to review see my notifications and you have all these buttons to go to you can go to your newsfeed go back you can go to your profile you can go to your friends just click on your friends and all these photos pop up right come on start popping up stupid 3g service really slow so that's friends and then you can always have your you can check into stuff you have your messages and then you have your notifications click on notifications and all you have all your recent notifications and friendcaster is better than the facebook app check it out it's a must check out and what else do we have we have groups and we have events and we have chat we can even go to chat and download the friends, um, what is that? Friendcaster chat from the market and we can get going. Let's download it. Who cares? Accept. So yeah, Friendcaster. Really useful app. Definite download. It's better than Facebook. Now I'm addicted to Facebook thanks to Friendcaster. So yeah, definitely check out. And 
you have pages too that you recently view or whatever that you like so you, you can always arrange these icons you don't want your profile to be there you can have your profile down there like right over here you can go and ordering see orders of stuff you can have up and down you can have your notifications go up and all that stuff so you can change the menu style and then what else do we have we have change log and all this other stuff preferences obviously the settings and what what notifications do we have we can just shake it to refresh or oh, we have pull to refresh too we can just go to newsfeed we can just go down let's go down come on and see if I go see it's loading see pull to refresh right over there and it's refreshing so yeah really useful app definite download friendcaster for Android so that's it for today I guess oh double tap home and we're in home okay alright so that's a lot of apps today that I've reviewed let me know what your best app was what your favorite app was mine was probably friendcaster and minus and doc for droid these are my favorite cuz I can't have one favorite I just love Android and I love my apps that's it for today don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as always. Take care guys. Bye bye.